Hi everyone, welcome back to the Metaply YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be answering questions that you've sent in for us to answer as medical students. So the theme for today's video is work-life balance and we've got Shrey who's joining us again to answer these questions. Yay. <laughs> okay, Shrey, so the first question that someone sent in is, what's your usual weekly schedule like? Um, so the weekly schedule, I guess Monday is always pretty packed. I think Monday, at least for me, and, and I'm at UCL, so at UCL tends to be the worst day um because yeah there's there's always lots of lectures um because it's a new week they might decide to do a new block of content or something and so you'll have some pretty difficult lectures in there some new content um tuesdays still pretty difficult probably less intense than a monday um wednesday is is nice because it's half day obviously at uni um so you'll have maybe something small in the morning a couple of lectures or a lab or something like that and then you'll have the rest of the day off and, and that's a really great time to get involved with sports and clubs and societies and things like that um, because that is a huge part of life at uni. Thursdays tend to be, again, similar to Tuesdays, just content, um, just getting through new content, things like that. Uh, and then Fridays will be, well, for, at UCL, we'll have clinical professional practice, CPP, um, that's it it varies on what year you're in the day that you do cpp but at least in second year cpp is on a friday and that's kind of uh stats uh ethics things like that things to do with medicine um and that that is in the morning and then you might do a, an ssc a student selected component in the afternoon something like that um that, that you've selected to study no yeah um Thanks for sharing that. I was just going to say that, um, at least for us, our schedule changes every single week. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So un unlike school where you're like, OK, this Wednesday is going to be like this or Friday is going to be like this. Um, you literally have no idea until the week starts. So yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. It's, it's, it's definitely just, really funny. Mm, yeah. Um, it's just those like few blocks of things that you know that you're going to have. But then the rest of it is completely fluid, um, whatever you might have that week. But yeah, so the, so the next question is, how much time do you have for free time or relaxing in a week? <laughs> Ooh. I guess it depends on the year that you're in. In first year, you'll have a lot, lot more than than you will in, in later years. I think in first year, but it's, it still doesn't feel like enough, but you have so much. Um, the content is nowhere near as difficult or intense. And that's not something to be scared of because as we discussed in a, in a previous video, it's about how you how you learn. And so you get more efficient at learning. Um, and so you can learn the more more content more efficiently. And so it, it takes roughly a similar amount of time. But in terms of free time, there's there's plenty of free time in first year. Later years, yeah, it does become more intense. There's less free time. But that's not to say you can't still go and chill with friends or, or do something else. Um, there, there is always time for that. And I think that's something that is important to make time for if you don't have time for that, because that is extremely important. Absolutely. I think that's something I um, I have sort of a problem with, like that balance between too much, too little. Um, but what someone, someone has told me that's really helpful is if you make the time for it, it's possible. And I always try and keep that at the back of my head. So yeah. yeah. Okay, the next question is, how do you spend your free time? <laughs> how do I spend my free time? Um, so I think a large part of it is playing sports for me. Um, I play cricket and squash. And so that, that takes up quite a lot of time. And then meeting friends, chilling with friends, um, just going to random people's flats and, and enjoying things like that um, yeah. is <clears throat> incredibly fun and and i guess rewarding as well you meet so many new people uh, that you wouldn't at uni so that that pretty much fills it all up to be honest absolutely and i think it's a great way to sort of break break off from studying and give yourself a nice refreshing break yeah okay the next question is is it easy to balance your time how do you stay organized i think um you should have a kind of idea about 
how far you're I don't know if this is a bad thing but how far you're willing to <laughs> get behind when you're at med school so I was speaking to someone when I was in my first year and I was I was really struggling I was like I didn't realize that I would have to actually study hard in first year yeah. and it and it came as a bit of a shock because I suddenly I found um I was enjoying myself and then I looked at my time timetable in my work and I realized that I was a month behind already and it was I was only five weeks in um and so that that was a huge shock so I spoke to someone and and they were telling me set a kind of goal for how far behind you want to fall or you'll allow yourself to fall and Mm -hmm. if you fall behind that goal then you have to work um to to get back up to it uh because you do need to prioritize having fun and, and meeting new people and whatever because that's that's massively important and and whatever but only up to a certain point if you get further than a, than a certain point then it can be putting your uh your academia in uh in peril like you could be at risk of being too far behind not being able to catch up things like that so in first year my kind of aim was never to be more than two weeks behind um in second year it was a lot less it was a few days um, for me personally, because I really wanted to stay on top of things, but also with lockdown and everything, that was a lot easier because there was no kind of meeting up with people, no, none of that. Um, so it was it was easier to stay on top of that, even though the content was more intense. Awesome. And if things did build up and you sort of slipped behind that, did you always like rigorously make it a point that you'd get back to? Yeah, get, get yeah, back? yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. Um, I would do my absolute utmost to to get back to that. Obviously, if it's physically not possible, if I'm if I'm there in the library at ten p.m. and and I'm exhausted, and I just need to sleep. Then I'm not going to push myself past past a certain point. So it's within reason, but yeah, until you can get to that point. Um, and I think if you make that a rule for yourself, uh, when you go into uni, that can be quite useful because you know your kind of limit of what you can socialize um and and you should kind of know what what amount of work you have to do Mm -hmm. no yeah absolutely I think that's that's great advice and actually it was something I struggled with quite a lot as well so I think that that's something really helpful to sort of set your mind to the last question we have is do you think it's beneficial to have a balance how how do you know how much free time you need to have or how do you sort that out I think having a balance is obviously it's incredibly incredibly important <clears throat> um because if you if you're just working then that's that's not much of a life to have at uni um uh-huh. and obviously if you you're just enjoying yourself going out whatever then your your studies are going to fall behind um so that balance is is really important i think being aware of how how you work so for example for me i know that for each lecture I'm going to, so for me, it was make a mind map and do the Anki flashcards of that lecture. That was what I needed to do for each lecture. Um, and that would be by the end of that module. And so uh, if I, so I kind of knew how long each each thing would take and you know which lectures are the big ones and which are the small ones. So you can kind of plan around that and say, okay, this, to cover this lecture, it's going to take me an hour, two hours, three hours um and and block that into your time and then say okay i'm gonna work plan it in your head at the start of the day whatever you want to do say i'm gonna get all my work done by 5 p.m let's say and then i'm gonna go and enjoy myself um or have a nice time relaxing or something like that Mm -hmm. um i think also a regular schedule helps um and keeping that very rigid or fairly rigid can can be helpful for example and this was especially good over lockdown knowing that i was going to wake up chill for a bit and then get down to work um work until lunchtime have lunch work until say 4 p.m go out do something meet someone whatever it might be just have a nice one two hour break um before coming back and chilling in the evening and then maybe a little bit more work on top of that um that kind of sticking to a schedule uh helped me a lot at least absolutely i think especially with the lockdown this was something i really 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 struggled with but it's something that i'm gonna 
uh, make sure that I do when I like start the next year, because I think it, I agree with you. I think it definitely is important, at least for setting your mind to, mm. to something and getting used to that sort of. Yeah, awesome. So that's all the questions that we have for this video. Thank you for joining us.